All right, get ready to mount another wheel here, but I just wanted to show you this jig. Okay, here's what I have. Let me see if I can get in there under the mill head here. Okay, I'm looking right down on the pin. Now you'll see that's a 3 8 hole tapped. That's to run that, let me see there, that bolt. Some washers on top of it. What I do is I run those down. That holds the wheel on. You probably saw that in the previous video. Now what you see here is the keyway, and there's the the key and what I do is I have this clamped in I'm I have the spindle I uh, indicated off of that diameter which is the bore of the axle in the hole let me back up a second you'll see there's a wheel and I have the keyway cut and there's just a there's a jack right here that just keeps it so if I, I drill in here just so it doesn't push down well I don't think it would move it anyway that's pretty it's in there pretty tightly. Okay, so what I have then, I put the wheel on and it indexes off this. So you'll say, yeah, that's it, that's weird. Well, this isn't my idea, but it was one of them I picked up on the internet. I don't know if it was Train Man or, not sure where that was at, but to index the wheels, you know, they need to be 90 degrees. Uh, one side has to lead the other by 90 degrees. So what he recommended, and his dot, I think, on his locomotive, I'm not sure, but I know that other people have, you set the keyway at 45 degrees on the wheel. So when I put this on, the crank pin will be not, it will be 45 degrees off the center line of this, or, you know, off the, this the center line between the pin, the crank pin, which will be out here, and the center of the axle, and that's 45 degrees. Now they say, why 45 and it has to be 90? Well, when you flip it one wheel to the other side, think about it, they're all done the same. When you flip that wheel around, it'll be 45 plus 45, therefore the 90. So you only have to set up one jig. And also when you cut the axles, you only have to cut the keyway and the axle. Like in the milling machine when I set up, I put the axle center on the axle and I could do both ends vertically. I didn't have to rotate it and index the spin or the uh, axle. So that's easy, and you know those are in line because that's easy to set up, and this is easy. And actually, if you're running off by a little bit, every wheel's off by the same amount. So really, that's all that matters. It's not so much the 45 degrees. It could be 46, could be 44. It's just that every wheel has to be the same. So the two on the one side will match up, whatever they are. They'll match the diameter away from the pin. will be right because I've indexed the milling machine. Um, and I have a milling head there, I have nothing in it, right over top, if it's an inch and three quarters over here to the center of the crank pin. So therefore, every wheel will be identical. So it'll be indexed identical from the keyway that's in the wheel, right here, to where the pin is. So if you're looking at this wheel, there's 45, so you're talking about a, right here, the crank uh, pin will be about right here. And that'll be the case on every wheel. So let's go ahead and set this in there and we'll run through a, a set of boring it, boring it out for the crank pin.